indeed. It's a rather chilly night here at the beautiful Leia Marnie Tower near Colchester. But is it going to be getting milder or chillier for the weekend? I'll have all the details for you in just a couple of minutes. In Colchester tonight, Becky, a grey weekend ahead for many of us after a particularly grey week. And this type of weather has a special name, apparently. It does. It's just a way of weather presenters making themselves feel more important. It's called anti-cyclonic gloom, which I think is probably quite a good descriptor for some people's mood this week as well. But yes, definitely very little sunshine around, but no gloom here. Welcome to Leia Marnie Tower near Colchester. This exquisite Tudor gem, this palace dates back to the early 1500s and it boasts the biggest Tudor, the tallest Tudor gatehouse in the whole of the UK. It's absolutely incredible. Now we've had, as I say, a lot, an awful lot of cloud around, but it didn't diminish the beauty as we got here earlier on, but it certainly got people talking about the lack of sunshine. Some parts of the UK have had no recorded sunshine at all so far in November. So no wonder everyone is feeling really so gloomy. But what does anti-cyclonic gloom actually mean? Well, it's really just a fancy way of saying cloud trapped under an area of high pressure. And anti-cyclonic is another word for high pressure. Now, there is a bit of a change of foot. If we have a look at what's going on, so a couple more gloomy days ahead, I'm afraid, but something a little bit brighter on the cards for next week. I am spoiling you. Right, Becky. So I told you at the beginning of the week that you would have no prizes for guessing the weather day by day. And indeed, there are still no prizes for guessing the weather for this weekend because it remains largely cloudy with the risk of drizzle as well and still rather chilly. This is a very typical anti-cyclonic gloom situation. Now let's have a look at the detail for the end of tonight. I didn't put in earlier on tonight because really nothing's going on at all. It's still that very same story where it's largely dry, it's cloudy, clearest skies in the northern parts of Scotland and as you can see elsewhere, same old, same old. So let's move into the weekend proper and as we do, we do so with again a rather cloudy start. Now we are going to be seeing some brightness around but again it is really just going to be restricted to the far northwestern parts of Scotland. Elsewhere I think generally if we're going to be picking the difference between today and then tomorrow this is going to be the fact that we've got more in the way of the drizzly rain around particularly down the eastern fringes and it's going to be feeling quite chilly as well particularly away from the towns and cities. Then we have a look ahead to Sunday. Well as you saw earlier on we've got these systems moving in from the west and they are going to be spreading in more in the way of the patchy light rain. The rain is neither here nor there really but we are expecting to see those brighter conditions starting to tuck in across the northwest and it's that that will slowly spread across the UK to give us a better chance of brightness for Monday and Tuesday at last. <laughs> <laughs> 